Hey you guys, we got a question and the question was about bases. Now you may think this is sort of a trivial addition to a statue, but actually it was a very, very, very important part of a statue and all cigar store Indians, they had bases. Now the bases and the statues were for advertising purposes. They also usually had wheels and sometimes a rope and usually handles. The statues were carted in and out in front of shops all along Main Street. Now, when you had wheels, you could carry the large statues. And on the bases, you could advertise whatever you wanted. You could advertise your store, whatever your specials were. You could change what was on the base so that it was your own little marquee. Now, when you see a statue, you want to see it on a base if you want something that looks authentic. Now, another thing that people are wondering is height, because I know people seem to think that size really, really, really matters. Well, when it comes to statues, the original cigar store Indians typically were anywhere from three to maybe at most five feet max. And then they were put on a base, but sometimes their bases were almost three feet tall. So then when you had this statue, you could walk up to it and it was a very commanding, impressionable figure. All right, I'm gonna take you around the shop so you can see some of the bases and you can see how the statues are put into the bases and the bases are around the stump of the bottom of the statue. So that's why when we sell a statue, just like as you would back in the day, they come with a base. The measurement goes from the very bottom of the base to the top of the statue like this lady back here, and you can put anything on it. We personally try doing lots of cool logos, like personalized to people's businesses. Also, we can do reproduction paintings of old cigar companies, or if you are a cigar company or a smoke shop, we can put your own personal brand onto it. All right, I hope that answered your question, and I'm gonna show you around to some of the bases and the processes of bases as well.